Wildfires continue to burn across the country. The region has been hit with its first fire. A wildfire in the Ottawa Valley has prompted evacuations in the Centennial Lake area, about 150 kilometers west of the capital. The fire was first reported Sunday afternoon and is considered out of control at this point. Some cottagers left the area last night. This wildfire is one of at least 50 burning in northern and northeastern Ontario. The province is bringing in additional resources to try to stay, stay on top of the situation. Now, Centennial Lake is located about 50 kilometers west of Calabogie and about two hours west of downtown Ottawa. Mike Coates has a cottage on the lake and spoke to Graham Richardson this morning on News Talk 580 CFRA about the start of the fire. I think we are about the first, probably the first boat on the scene. We whipped out and we noticed that it was all the underbrush mm. that probably from the storm last year that was burning. And a lot of the tall pine trees continue to be green and survive. Um, and so, as you say, it's, it's, it's not absolutely dry out there. It's, it's the dead stuff that's burning. Paul came over and with a couple of um, extinguishers, and so we thought, oh, heck, this is something we could put out. Well, by the time we got across the lake, it, it was pretty clear. It was well yeah. beyond our capability. CTV's Natalie Van Roy is on her way to the area near Calabogie. will join us in just a few minutes, uh, again, hopefully shortly. Meantime, a special air quality statement has been issued for Ottawa and eastern Ontario. Have a look right now at our downtown camera where things are very hazy out there. High levels of pollution are expected because of smoke from, uh, from wildfires. Mostly in northern Quebec is the smoke that's affecting us right now. That can be harmful to everyone's health, but even at low concentration. So it's still at low risk. It's at three right now on the air quality health index, but that is expected to increase possibly even by the afternoon and especially for the day tomorrow because as you can see this afternoon there is a chance of some showers and some thunderstorms that's being brought about by a cold front and a cold front is actually going to shift some of the winds out there so that's going to some southerly winds are going to bring that smoke south even more hazy than expected so if you have respiratory issues uh, if you have asthma pay, pay particular attention to the air quality today just because of again what's expected at least right now temperature wise we're going to be in that 22 23 area there's a chance of those thunderstorms and tonight best chance it looks like it's early this evening tomorrow another pretty typical day there's maybe a small chance of some rain but again we're going to be hazy it's going to be smoky out there uh, for the day tomorrow once again right now we are currently sitting at 21 at least at this point no humidity out there but again been tough with that haze and that smoke around the blocking out the sunshine so we'll, we're watching this situation very closely we'll have more tonight and we'll more in the forecast coming up in just a little bit